It's just a little chat about why the Neovim implement built-in LSP. We'll talk about why I want to call it built-in LSP, some other sort of related things as well. But I'm, I'm hoping that I can convince you, at least that it's not a terrible idea that we're shipping with LSP, why I think it's a really great idea and I'm excited about it, and why even if you're using other tools primarily to do work with LSP, I think that it's basically still exciting and still a value prop add for NeoVim as opposed to not having it. So a little background about me and LSP. I've actually been working on LSP for an insane amount of time. I made what was one of the earliest. I don't know if it's the earliest. It's quite early though. Uh, Vim language server shims, these sort of ideas of implementing clients. Uh, so I made that in October, 2016. Following making that, I proposed to NeoVim Core, hey, I think this is something that can bring a lot of value to NeoVim. And then I also started the first PR that ended up becoming the built-in LSP implementation. Uh, fortunately, we had great people like H. Michael and uh, Ashcan to really finish it because it's like, man, I didn't have time. I was doing other stuff. I had other work. I couldn't take it all the way there, but we had other people finish, uh, finish the project and it was great. So that's a little bit of background. Here's the basic outline of what we're going to chat about. First thing, primary reason that we did it. There's precedence. LSP is built for editors, built exactly for what we're doing. We can have nice things. And there's something beyond just the extensibility that we have for LSP, but also NeoVim in general, why we might want to have this. A tangential benefit of this was great practice for our Lua standard lib. And the future goals would, which I'm not promising, I'm not promising, but it just gives you sort of an idea of the vision that maybe uh, we could have for Neopen, that we could have for Neopen. All right, so, and then we have a few FAQs at the end that we'll chat about as well. So some precedents, little history lesson. You might not have ever used Cscope, but it's actually built into Vim and NeoVim and it has been for a long time. Cscope is sort of similar to LSP, except that it only supports C. So there is already a precedence for shipping with these kinds of features that allow people to have better tooling and better integration with the editor that's sort of well thought out and integrated tightly with the editor that's available to anyone who has it. Second thing is LSP is built for editors. We are doing exactly what LSP was designed to do, which is run inside of an editor and provide abilities to basically fully work well with languages. It should not be that every time you want to go to a definition of a language, you have to figure out how to, you know, do C tags for it or figure out how to hook together some new sort of regex that you're going to search. There are tools that provide those things and LSP is a great tool for it. The next thing sort of along this line is that we really can have nice things and I want to provide nice things to all of our users that I can and provide basically the best experience that we can possibly make. And so, yeah, it's, it's true. It's true. There are other things we could have worked on. There are other bugs to fix. Um, although as, as I mentioned here, I do think we got a lot of new contributors because of LSP because they were excited. They felt Lua was accessible. There were good tests. We were had integration tests, all these sort of things that can bring new contributors to the project. Um, we had that happen. And, and so maybe that's not a great argument that, uh, you know, there were other things that people could be working on. Maybe it was a wash, whatever. But I think built in LSP is nice and it's a nice thing. And I use it every day actually for my like development and it, makes me a lot more productive developer inside of NeoVim. The last bit sort of of these main benefits that I think is, I, I, I often think people are thinking a little too small when they're looking at built-in LSP. It doesn't actually have to be a server that's doing the responding. Anybody can call the Lua code to, to do exactly what the handlers, which are basically just the callbacks you can read about and help LSP handlers if you're interested about these. But this is basically a way that you can do a very easy uh, hover style text exactly the same way that someone would do with LSP. And if the user has customized the way that they do hovers, this basically like meta way, this API of interacting with NeoVim will always exist. And 
what's quite nice is this API exists in some ways outside of just NeoVim. The, the skills or information that you learn or garner related to LSP can be reused in either other plugins, other editors, or other places. So I think it's not just that we're providing ways to talk to an LSP, we're also exposing those endpoints to end users, both via plugins or through your own configuration that can provide much, uh, much needed uh, ways to interact with the editor in common ways that you're going to do because LSP is about the common ways that people use editors. And, and and it's not just that we're providing an implementation, we're also providing a framework. There are lots of really exciting, very cool utilities or extensions that people are making. You can find stuff like Envim Metals, which is a very customized, very specific implementation for uh, Meta LS. You can go and follow the links here. There's cool stuff like Envim LSP Utils, which provides cool integrations with other editors that makes it feel very exciting. and. There's also even one that I, I wrote quite a bit of in Envim Lua. There's also exciting integrations with FCF and Telescope, even other things as well. So I think it's it's already shown that there are lots of people out there that are interested in providing these integrations, making the experience more customized for just the way that they want to do it. And it's all built on top of this shared framework that everybody has when they install NeoVim. So what are some tangential benefits? This is basically a great way, and it was a great way for us to test the Lua integration with inside of NeoVim. And by doing this, we actually found some rough edges and we fixed some of them. We implemented new abstractions that allowed other people to use, uh, to use these abstractions well in plugins. And we even implemented completely new features in C code that we exposed via Lua, like vim.wait. And we implemented better vim script and Lua interoperability. So I, I think it was not just writing the LSP, it was also that we ended up building more and more of a standard library for Lua, which is helpful to every uh, plugin developer or user of NeoVim that is using the Lua interface. I, I also, this is not a promise, please, please note it says it's not a promise. I also have goals and dreams about doing much bigger and better things for Lua inside of NeoVim. One thing that would be super exciting for me would be to try and implement an LSP that uses the built-in tree sitter integration that NeoVim has, plus a Lua grammar, plus some Lua glue code that glues these things together, that would provide anyone who opens NeoVim, obviously guarded by an option and all the things that you would normally expect from a, a Vim-like editor, uh, that you could get that linting completion and navigation right out of the box for NeoVim and Lua. I think for new users in particular, this kind of experience is very, very difficult to come by right now in NeoVim or Vim like editors because we don't have the tools or the capabilities to provide people with these sort of exciting features that you just expect, especially when, con when writing code in the editor you'd like to configure. So I think there's lots of exciting things like that that we could try and do in the future. Uh, not a promise, but something that I'd love to do. So I, I sometimes hear the question, why is this called built-in if it's implemented in Lua? So the reason I call it built-in is, what I mean by built-in is if I have NeoVim, I have this thing. And uh, there are some other examples, like I feel NetRW is kind of this way, or Check Health, or remote plugins. Some of these features are implemented primarily or all Vim script, uh, but we consider them built in because they ship with NeoVim. And sort of as an aside, I don't want to have any C code in the LSP implementation that is not exposed to other people. C code that is useful enough to be included for the LSP implementation should be useful enough for anybody else to use. And we should expose that with a nice Lua API that provides plugin authors the ability to, uh, to use it. And I also often hear the question, why build this when Coke and Vim or Vim LSP or language client NeoVim, why, why build it when these things exist? First up, uh, this is not an editor war or a plugin war. I often recommend Coke and Vim or Vim LSP or language client NeoVim. Many of these uh, plugins I think are great. They're serving the people there really well and they're very exciting. And I love seeing these competing implementations. And I'll continue to recommend them, I think, for a long time. Each one sort of has different goals and different priorities and different ways that people interact with it. But 
we wanted to be able to provide people a way to do these things without having to install other plugins or dependencies because this is exactly the way that LSP is meant to be used and we can have nice things <laughs> and there is precedence for it, right? So because of the reason that we said before, I think all of those are good reasons for us to want to ship this, want to build this and want to use it. Um, I'm not saying that everyone should drop these other plugins. I think a lot of them are great. They've done great work and a lot of them are much more polished than the built-in LSP implementation. I have no qualms <laughs> sort of saying that or, or talking about that. I just, I think we're still providing a value add. We're providing a new value add for people uh, even with, even with uh, those other plugins existing. And I guess ultimately for me, what, what I want to provide is tools that everyone who uses NeoVim can use, or at least has the option to use. And that hopefully we can make everybody's experience with NeoVim better and better over time. And we can provide the tools that uh, bring joy to the way that you interact with NeoVim. So that's basically a short presentation about why did NeoVim implement LSP. For more information, you know, you can uh, check out my Twitch. We talk about it quite a bit. You can see some of the features that we've made. Um, if you don't like this presentation, then that's great. And I still love you and I hope you're enjoying NeoVim. Okay, cool chat. There we go. How did, how was it? How was it?